Hi, everyone. Welcome to Bingo with Patty. We have some fabulous guests today. Welcome to Bingo with Patty. Tonight, you can play free bingo online with Pet Pals TV host, Patty Spidler, and her friends from Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary. Go to bingowithpatty.com right now to get your free bingo card. You'll be able to watch and play on that website. Tonight, we'll be raising awareness for Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary, a 35-acre animal rescue under construction in Muncie, Indiana. Grateful already provides adoption, medical care, spay-neuter, and educational programs for unwanted animals. During tonight's bingo game, you'll learn more about Grateful's commitment to save and rehome dogs abandoned from puppy mills. It's a safe, fun way to play bingo from the comfort of your home. Again, go to bingowithpatty.com right now to get your free bingo card. Now here's a lady who really knows how to have a ball, Patty Spindler. Thank you again, and Craig Cinnamon for that introduction. It's wonderful. And I got so excited. I was going to introduce uh, 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 Jenny early. Jenny DeVoe has been a friend of ours for a long time. You know where her heart is. Uh, we love her, uh, her voice. And she's, of course, uh, lent her song to us for many, many years. We're also going to get Pamela Trehune is the founder of Grateful Sanctuary. And KJ, our, our kitty correspondent, is with us as well. Let's start off with uh, Jenny. How are you tonight, Jenny? I'm really good, Patty. Thank you very much. How about you? Oh, doing good. And you've, I want to show, here's my little, here's my little Mabel. And oh. you have, oh. uh, hi, sweetie. Hi, uh, yes. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, Jenny, tell us about your rescues. I know you're big into rescues as well. Oh, gosh. Well, and, and as of three days ago, we have another one here. Um, just a dog that, um, you know, they've come to us from, from all different places and for all different reasons. Um, two had come from the animal in the Indianapolis Animal Shelter. We've had a dog from the Animal Care and Control. My mm -hmm. husband found a German Shepherd once, and that dog lived to be about 15 years old. And right now we have wow. four in the house. So they're all mixes. One is a Dachshund Scotty mix, one's a Chow Snouser mix, one is a um, there's a wheat and terrier here right now that uh, just needed a lot of work and upkeep, and I think um, her her people just didn't have time to. And here's 14 year old Lily. Oh, oh let's see. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> she's 14 and she runs the house. <laughs> see, she can't hear. But oh, she's time and she knows when she's hungry. And, and Lily, it's Lil, it's Lily's show all day long. When she barks now, her front legs come up off the ground, and she takes about five medications. She has Cushing, but she's made it to fourteen, and she's not going Aww. anywhere. Else. Oh wow, that's Aww. great! I love yeah. her. <laughs> but, you know, what what we would have spent on uh, children, I guess we do this kind of stuff. So we love it. I understand completely. Hey, Jenny, we're going to, uh, Jason is, is with us now and he's going to, uh, we're going to take a little look at, at some of your talented work and a listen to, Hey, okay. I got my cochlear in. I'm ready to go. You know, I love ready it. To go. Say I'm easy. Come on what you want. Tell me I'm crazy, baby Oh, or call me underdone Call me a dreamer Oh, call me over with Call me a doctor Cause, baby, I give a little love Give a little more this time Give a little love It'll 
to feel right. Give a little love. Beautiful. Give a little love. Oh, so beautiful. Uh, That's wonderful. Jenny, you're, you're a beautiful voice, but more importantly, you're a beautiful person. Oh, so absolutely. You right. yeah. We'll go back to you. Let's go to Pamela Trehunda. Pamela, how, how's the rescue uh, sanctuary going? What's going on with you now? Uh, well, everything's going great. Things are starting back up and we are um, in permitting stage. We, now that the government buildings are opening, we're uh, submitting our plans and we're in a capital fund drive right now. And we will be pushing dirt very soon. We're so oh, excited. Finally, wonderful. finally. Wonderful. Now, now you're, uh, tell us about the little dog you have. And then I want to go on to some, you rescued some cats and kittens too. Tell yes. us about your doggy. Okay, this is Marley. And <laughs> that's not my dog. <laughs> Say hi to Marley. Um, Marley, I just, I just uh, to, uh, purchased from a breeder, and um, she's a retired mama. And I know that we talk about the horrors of puppy mills, but we also support responsible breeders. Good. And she is one of the um, one of the mama puppy uh, one of the mama dogs from a responsible breeder. And the difference is night and day. I mean, she well look at her. She's so she's so relaxed. She's so mellow, and she's very attached to me. She's curious. Oh. She's happy. Nothing like the puppy mill mamas we get that are frightened of everything. So. Oh, wonderful. I, I, again, we are on the same plane with that one. Uh, yeah. Also, you have recently started to, ad you adopted some a mommy cat and some kittens. Yes, yes. I'm becoming a cat lady. Yes. I love it. I love it. Well, I'm learning so much because I had no idea what to expect when I, when I um, rescued this mama and her babies and um which i've learned that the mom is called a queen uh -huh. and she is a queen and she's such a good mama and these babies have been thriving they <laughs> i weigh them every day and they they average about an ounce a day except your, your kitty patty she kind of sorry <laughs> <laughs> or he rather um, and, um, and and I'm learning so much. It's such a wonder. And I know that, I, that right now their their temperatures are they cannot regulate their own body temperature. So um, wow. we have to keep the room at 80 degrees. Oh, and, she's such a good mommy. Look at that. Oh, That's she wonderful. is. She's oh. a good mommy. And we just started them on on what they call gruel, which is um, which is baby formula mixed with um, a high quality kitten food. Wonderful. And um, wonderful. she always jumps in and starts eating it to make sure that uh, that I'm feeding the kittens good stuff. So good for her. Um, well, they, yeah. Speaking of kittens, we're, we're we want to go to KJ now, our kitty correspondent. And hi. KJ, I hi there, sweetie. I know you love your kitties. Who have you got with you tonight? Uh, well, I've got Miss Amelia here, and Rody was sitting with us. Oh, he's climbing, so this is their cat room. Yes, my cats have their own room. Oh, I love it. Not to get to show everybody he's the king. Uh, <laughs> and then over here, I've got our queen, Jaina, and little Miss Melody. The only one that's not here is Grayson, who you usually see on TV with me on Pet Pals TV. I think he's taking a nap. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So, everybody wants to see where I'm ready. Okay, now I think Jason's going to, we, we've been talking about all of our animals and you know how we get carried away. Jason, tell us a little bit about, we're here to play some bingo. Jason Heath, our executive producer. Jason. All righty. So we have three cards you can play at one time. Hopefully you're, you've gotten your card at bingowithpatty.com. And once you get there, you can play the bingo with these three cards and you can watch our video feed at the same time. So make sure that if you have a winning bingo card, if you have bingo, hit that I have bingo button. And um, during the games, in between games, you'll have an opportunity to help donate to Great for Rescue using one of those green buttons to help the animals. We also have some prize packages tonight. And you can win uh, one of, uh, of these prize packages tonight. Um, courtesy of Grateful Rescue. Wow. So, all righty, so I'm gonna set this up and in just a moment, we're gonna have Patty 
do the honors of giving um, reading off the first ball. Are you ready, Patty? I'm ready for that first ball. Here we go. What do we got? Seventy-five zero seven five zero seven five. Awesome. What about this one, Jenny? Oh, I was yeah. Zero seven five again. B ten. B one zero. B ten. And we're going to kind of go slow tonight because you have three cards you're playing at once, so we're not going to rush things. Um, so very good. All righty. So KJ, we're going to read off the next ball here. It's being uh, chosen now. And uh, here we go. G54. That's G54. Four. All righty. So, Pamela, you're going to have the honors of doing the next one. O68. O68. All righty. And I'll do the honors for this one. It is going to be I22. I-22, and again, once you have the winning bingo card, you're going to hit the I have bingo. And while we're waiting for a couple of people to catch up, a couple of comments from Facebook. Uh, Carmelita Griffin says, oh, Carmelita. Uh, hi, Carmelita. Hi. Dusty, that's a picture of Dusty I rescued from her. Corey Aww. Todd. Corey Todd. Todd. Samson. Donna Johnson says hello. So very good, thanks for watching. And if you comment, Type those comments on. All righty, Patty, you get the next uh, random ball choice. That would be B2. 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 <laughs> All right, Jenny, what's that one say? I30. I30. This is like an eye test. It really is. <laughs> I30. I30. I'm going to make it bigger. That's okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, bigger, there better, we go. better. <laughs> All right. Here we go. N40 is the next one. N40. Once you have bingo, <laughs> I have bingo card. And then Pamela, what about the next one? The next one is I19. I19. I All right. Some more comments from people. Carolyn. Woohoo! Is watching. My sister from another mister. <laughs> Deborah, hello there. Deborah. Awesome. All righty. KJ, you get the next one. Here we go. I 20. I 20. All righty. So the next ball chosen is going to be B 13. B 13. Jenny, we've made these bigger for you, so you'll have the next one. Hey, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I-27. I-27. All righty. Patty? I-29. I-29. Again, once you have bingo, make sure you hit that I have bingo button so we can make you the winner. We should be getting close. Mm -hmm. O-63, O-63. KJ, what about this next one here? Uh, oh, 061. Oh, 061. Pamela? I-26. I-26. Next we have I-18. I-18. We may get a ton of winners at once here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jenny, scary. What do we got here? Oh, hold on. Uh, there's a B7. We may have a winner. Okay. In fact, we do. Hey! Right. Yay! Our winner is Lisa Welch from Indianapolis. We ah! Lisa the winner. You know her? Yes, she's my best friend. <laughs> Very good. Friends are eligible. That's good. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> good deal. Um, so, so we'll get, uh, we have your information, so we'll give you a prize package, uh, and we will get your information via email. So awesome. Sounds good. Um, Congratulations. That's awesome. We're going to take a break for a second. Uh, Patty, I think we have a video that we want people to watch. Is that yes. correct? 
We do. Uh, Belinda Nelson is a rescuer from the Grateful Rescue with Pamela. Uh, she adopted a puppy from Pamela, and she's going to tell us a little bit about why and what she went through. So this is Belinda Nelson. This is Belinda. Yes. What's your last name? Nelson, Belinda Nelson. And this is the new Nelson. Her name is Willow, <laughs> and I am welcoming her to my family. I had a pack at home, uh, which was a Maltese and a Cavalier. And the Cavalier, her name was Molly. And Molly had to have a double mastectomy. And after the double mastectomy, because she had um, cancer going down her breast, and her heart enlarged after the surgery, and she passed. And my Maltese, baby one, began to grieve. And I was grieving also, missing her presence, and um, was looking for someone to take that place in both of our hearts. And my daughter said, Mom, do you know Mrs. Terhoon? She uh, rescues dogs. She said, why don't you look at the website and see if there's anything on there that interests you. And we called her and I came out and I noticed that Willow was sinking back in the back, um, you know, not intermingling with the other puppies. And she picked her up and let me hold her. and. That was it, it was over. I knew that Willow was the one to be in our home. And I looked at her eyes and her eyes are so kind. And um, so I am so happy today that she was rescued. When you take a dog that has been rescued from a puppy mill and they've been treated so bad, some of them have to have teeth pull um, and other medical issues with uh, worms and parasites. And it's very expensive. Send her a check, you know, donate, go on the website and, and, and donate finances uh, uh, to help to know that you're being a part and your reward I believe in sowing good seed on fertile ground. And this is a fertile ground because it births the quality of life for these animals. Isn't that amazing? I see that. Oh my God, I love Isn't her. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to cry. Belinda's wonderful. I know, I already am. We love you, Belinda. What you've done. I mean, she just so eloquently stated what we all feel when we look in her eyes. Don't get me started. Um, <laughs> it's hard. Let's, let's go to panel now. And I'll, I'm going to change course here because I get I get oh, so blubbering. involved. I know, I know, and that's okay. That's okay too. Pamela, tell us how. Tell us how. Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to put yourself on the line? Why do you want to? Why do you want to give your heart to this? Why? Oh, Patty, the, the, I think the thing that, that really gets me is the shelter experience, the, uh, the overcrowded, understaffed, um, no money shelters, and the stress that's on these animals. Um, I, well, first of all, I have a deep-seated love for the animals, and, um, and our plan is to uh, lessen the stress while they're homeless um, and give them space where they are happy these the, sh the new um, rescue will be indoor outdoor um, they're not caged up they're not stressed out they're enjoying their life the best they can while they're homeless um, and it's just uh, it's just a happier place for them and um, and as far as the puppy mills my uh, I'll be fighting that forever because um, it's just such a sad sad, yeah. thing they have to put up with I mean yeah. I whenever I decided to take on the fight I had to learn about the the horrors of it and I really didn't want to know those things but but it's it's a fight worth fighting yeah. And, yeah. And take them. I, I truly believe that a lot of people don't understand what poppy mills are and they don't understand that a, a responsible breeder would not sell to a, to a right. shop you know, right. but a responsible breeder, you go and you see the mom dog and you get the health record and you see, you know, a, a puppy mills, they just, it's for the money. And, and we don't go yes. into pet shops that sell um, puppies because, of because, that. yeah, 
Make it, and a mom someplace, even if the puppies come out okay. It's like there's a mom in a like a prison hell. Yes, exactly. Yes. They're yeah. standing on wire for five years of their life and it's in darkness, then, in pure darkness, pure yeah, darkness. Yeah. And they and then when they're ex, ex, then they're they can't be any useful anymore. They are expired. So mm -hmm. we're we're going to deal with that more stressfully too uh, this year. And, and next year, too, uh, Pamela and I are on that. So uh, I guess if, I, if that doesn't make you want to help, I don't know what does. Uh, I want to help, and I know that my friends do, too. And if you'd like to join us, we welcome you. We welcome well, you. And I will, uh, I'll tell you, Pamela, my friend Lisa that, that won her first game, she, I mean, she was excited to play the bingo, but I was telling her about what you're doing with Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary last night, and they rescue dogs and cats. And um, she was just so on board with what you're doing and so touched. Oh, excellent. Excellent. So, yeah. We just want to spread the word more and more. It's going to be an absolutely amazing place. And we're so grateful to have you that is building this wonderful sanctuary. And Thank might you. I add too that Best Friends, uh, Pamela went to Best Friends in Utah. I've been a member of Best Friends before the show, before Pet Pals, before I met Pamela. They do an amazing job and, and she is trying to pattern her shelter after, and she has Best Friends approval, right, Pamela? Yes, we're network partners of Best Friends and, um, We've got the founders on the other end of the phone anytime we need. They they gave us everything whenever we went there and and attended their week long workshop and they told us what's worked for them over the last thirty five years, what doesn't work, and and the way to go about things. And and I we witnessed living proof of of the difference it makes to not have these animals yeah. caged up and stressed out. Okay. I love okay. the show. I've seen good. I love that. That's gonna be I love it. I'll be there all the time. I'll just oh, good. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay, Jason, we have another game to play, right? Yeah, game number two. Game number two. And we're gonna start that now. Again, once you have bingo, make sure you uh, hit the I have bingo button. So Jenny, yes, give us the first number. Oh I was like, yes, what, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Forty-one. N is in Nancy. Forty-one. All righty. Perfect, Patty. You're going to have the next one here. Oh, N thirty-one. N thirty-one. All righty, KJ. You have the honors for ball number three. All right, B five. B five. Very good. A reminder: you can th play three cards at once. When you have bingo, make sure you hit the I have bingo button. All righty. So, Pamela. The next one is 071. 071. All righty. So, the next ball we're going to choose here, G56. G56. We had three winners for that first game, but um, we oh had Oh, my gosh. Winners. Wow. Oh, oh my Before goodness. Hit the I have bingo button. <laughs> All right, Jenny, a ball just popped up. G55, as in G55 Mercedes G55. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> from, uh, people joining, Shreve Smith. Oh. Okay, hey, Shreve. Excellent. All righty. Patty, what's just popped up? Oh, 64. Oh. Six four. Okay. And KJ, we're about to pop another one up there. Oh, I can't wait. All right. I twenty six. I twenty six. Pamela, next ball for you. B thirteen. B thirteen. All righty. Uh, the next bingo ball the computer chose is B twelve. B, is that a vitamin? B12. <laughs> One of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> and? All righty. Jenny. G49. 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 Sounds like a summit. Yeah. <laughs> Going to go to the G49 summit. Another ball just popped up. I16. I, I16. 
Very good. Reminder, if you have bingo, make sure you hit that I have bingo button that's on your card. KJ. The uh, next uh, next number up is I-23. I-23. Pamela. Oh, 75. Oh, 75. Alrighty. And then the next randomly generated ball is G as in golf, 53. G, 53. Uh, Jenny, what do we got here? N as in Nancy, 40. N, 40. N, 40. N do I have to move it bigger? Is, it, is that big enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> I have great eyes. I just have my eyes tested. <laughs> well, I appreciate Patty. it for one. <laughs> Next one for G Patty. G54. G54. And so, KJ, the next ball? Yes. Ooh, G57. G57. Pamela, what do we got? Oh, 72. Oh, 72. Very good. And we may have a winner. I kid you not. With Pet Pals TV is the winner of the latest bingo. Rita Rose is the winner. <laughs> oh, <God>. Rita! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> that's so great. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. She does so much to help the show and me. And when I can't make it home, she comes over and picks up oh the my dog poop. Gosh, she's I been, love her. She is such a wonderful contribution to to all of us. And, uh, and she loves... Cats and dogs too, and then my puppies really love her. Let me tell you, everybody loves Rita. Everybody loves Rita. What's not to love, it. right? <laughs> and not That's to put great. Jenny on the spot, but in a minute we might ask her to sing a song. If we oh, have oh get yes, ready. Mm -hmm. get ready, Jenny. Get ready, uh, Jenny Devoe. Let me just tell you a little bit about. We go back. Gosh, I used to go and see her in concerts when I was just a small child, and. Uh, uh, I've loved Jenny forever. Uh, she's so talented. And then I found out that she loved animals. And uh, she contributes that song. Uh, every time I hear Give a Little Love, I know that the, the, the show's coming up. It's been wonderful. And she's a good, true friend. So, uh, And she's got, a, again, a great heart. So she's also got a great voice. So we're going to hear Jenny. What are you going to sing for us tonight? And what you got? I'm sing a song I wrote. Um that seems to be so appropriate for so many things, but it's called Blue Sky, Big Sun. I thought, um, since this is for the Grateful Rescue, this is what you want all animals to be able to have, Blue Sky, Big Sun. And it's also for people too. So, um, you know, right, and I will say right now, we are um, uh, trying to help this little dog that um, just, uh, I, I would just want to say, and it, it, it's funny because sometimes you feel like you're preaching to the choir, but you have to say uh, when dogs get older, it's like you can't just turn them in, right? No, uh, so it's for life. Right. for life, for life, for life, for life. So I say to people, what I like to say is, um, you know, if, if for some reason you do get a dog and you find you're not a dog person and you've never done this before, spend the time to get it a good home and you know you don't have to live in shame your whole life but you you know you do have to do, remember animals have not everybody's an animal person like us we're all kind of crazy and i'm really proud of that I'm, i got that from my grandmother <laughs> you just want to encourage people to take the steps because if they're miserable with their animal you can guarantee their animals miserable yeah. And so if you can't do all the vet stuff, then just uh, find them a good home and that will be your good deed because then, yeah. then we understand, right? But, yeah. <laughs> do the best you can. We do understand. Well said. Well said and, Thanks, yeah. guys. Okay. Uh, Jenny, and you're going to, oh, you're going to perform. I we are front, right. front row. All righty. Perhaps you were born 
bright side of the moon. Oh, the melody of summer and summer too. And I don't care where you go, man. As long as you take me with you. So why are we at war with one another? You know, heaven found it used to be so much better. Being alone can feel just like being together. So let's make it better. If we can, guess all you need is a Blue sky, big sun. No, it sounds simple, but it shows the sounds. You don't always have to be someone. If you got yourself a blue sky, blue sky, big sun. So I telephoned you about the past. I said, honey, leave it behind. Cause we're going too fast. If love is an island, it should spend all our time. Trying to wash upon her shore. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, all you need is a blue sky big song. Oh it sounds simple, but it sure sounds You don't always have to blame someone. You got yourself a blue sky. Bob Dylan long, so I cut it short. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Love, love, love. love. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much. I was oh. welcome. You're welcome. Okay. I want to take off on a little bit of what Jenny said there. When you when you get an animal, a pet, know know what you're getting. I love Jack Russells and I love Border Collies. They're not for me. <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm not going to go out and run. Know that when you get a lab, you're going to throw the ball 50 million times. <laughs> yeah. Do we like to sit on the sofa? Mabel wants to sit on my lap. I mean, I know. I know the sort of animal that I need. If if you have some, if you have children, probably a Chihuahua may not be the best bet. Somebody, <laughs> right. you know, because they kids don't realize sometimes they can. In, the Chihuahua is like, oh my gosh, there's a child running. So, so know what you're getting and teach your children. I grew up with a dog, my dad's dog, Duke. And my parents loved that dog more than they did me, let me tell you. I mean, but they, they, there's, I got to find the pictures. They would feed me a milk bone with the dog. I swear to God. I, I'm not lying. And the only time I ever saw my father cry was when we had to put Duke down. So it, he was a tough German, oh boy. And he cried. That was the only time I ever saw it. And I was like, so know what you're getting. Get the animal that you know, suits your lifestyle and your pocketbook and, yeah. and, 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 and your housing where you live. Yeah, you know, yeah, make sure all those things go into play mm -hmm. and get the dog that's right for you. 
So, it's the same, yeah. you know, it's the same thing with cats. You know, I mean, we've got. She just ran under the bed, of course. Amelia, <laughs> Amelia is a Siamese, and they they're beautiful, but they're not for everyone. She's got all right. kinds of energy and wonderful attitude and she's so smart it's frustrating sometimes and she's digging into my treats right now <laughs> young lady um i love her but the you know in in a household that couldn't put up with that kind of energy she wouldn't be happy and neither would you so you, you really have to think about that with with cats even though we don't always have you know know their breeds um you can certainly talk to the shelter and i know that pamela you're you know you, you know, you could you you know a cat's personality, and you want to right. like, make sure that they're going to the right home. Yes, yes. must educate them on what they're getting, or they'll yeah. end up right back right back where they started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Uh, we also have a um, a video here, Jason. You're going to show this is uh, from Mike Carson, and he has a a plea for donations, and it's 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 along the same lines of what we're talking about know what you're getting, take care of it. And if you can't, know, know someone who can. So Mike Carson, here he is. Hi, everyone. This is Mike Carson. Uh, I was asked to uh, talk for just a couple of minutes about Grateful Rescue and the sanctuary and all the things it means to me and, and why donating is so important. Uh, first, I thought I'd give you just a short update. So we've been in permitting for what saved like forever. And we're at the end of that. Uh, permit should be issued here just in the next week or so. And, uh, and so that means we'll start moving dirt here very soon. And so that's exciting news for everybody. And at the same time, the architects are finishing the first wave of uh, building design. So a lot of activity uh, in the world. Saying all that, we should be somewhere in late year getting the, uh, the construction work going. Uh, so through this period, it's, it's been a year since uh, the land was purchased. And uh, just almost a year ago, we started going into the uh, approval process. So some of you have been with us a long time, and we, we appreciate that so much. And uh, we're picking up new friends all the time. The way we're funding this is uh, Pam has uh, carried uh, through different sources uh, close to a million dollars into it. This, uh, this overall plan will, is going to cost several million dollars, but we're doing it in small steps. And now we're uh, out with the public working on uh, donations. We've been very successful and very happy with the way people supported it. But there's more that uh, we need to do. Uh, it's important to remind people that the, the rescue and sanctuary is more than uh, an animal shelter. It's an educational piece. It's an advocacy for the humane treatment of animals. Uh, it's a long reach. We'll cover all of the Midwest into Eastern United States. We're the second largest sanctuary in the country. Uh, so we'll have a long reach and a uh, big effect on how animals are treated with your help. If you can donate, we appreciate it so much. It's, it is needed. Uh, these bingo plans have helped us. We've run several different uh, events like this and we're so happy with the turnout and the ongoing support from everyone. So thank you so much. We appreciate everything that you do and we can't wait to see you again. Stay safe. All so right. Carson, uh, very nice, Pamela. Very nice. And and I know we're going through a lot right now. We're, we've got all kinds of things going on in this world, but here's something we can help. We can actually make a difference. And a lot of things we can't do anything about right now. We're observing. We're trying to, you know, we're hunkering down and all of that. We're watching things unfold in the news. But here's a way you can help something that you can reach out. It's tangible. Tangible, you can touch it. It's, it's a furry, tangible thing. So it's a wonderful thing. And Pamela, also, you are working with, before we start game three, with um, uh, deployment, men and women who are in the service and they can't take care of their animal. 
Yes, yes. We uh, one of our community outreach programs is that if um, if a soldier is deployed, many times they have to surrender their animals if they don't have someone to take care of them through the duration of their employment or deployment. Excuse me. Um, at Grateful, we'll keep them. We'll keep them as our pets, and we will take care of them. We will feed them, and we don't charge a penny for that. You're serving our country, and we want to help. We want to give back. So we'll take them. That's wonderful. I wanted to make yeah. sure we got that in. Okay, Jason, what do you want to do? You want to play? Let's play game three, shall we? And yeah, sure. uh, we are going to have Jenny, in just a moment, read off the first <laughs> one. <laughs> you do the honors. And here we go. B1. 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 Patty, what do you know? Oh, G. I mean, no, no, no. Oh, no. G46. <laughs> G46. Just a reminder, you can play three cards at once on your bingo card. And when you do get the bingo, hit that I have bingo button. KJ. Uh, the next number is N42. That's N42. All righty. A couple of people joining us. By the way, Deborah loved Jenny's song. That's Aww. a pause right there. <laughs> and Linda joining us from Farmland, Indiana. Watch. Farmland. Ooh, Hi, Linda. Farmland. Hi, Linda. All righty. So uh, the next ball is B3. B is in boy three. Jenny, another one's going to pop up here. O, seven, four. O, seven, four. I'm mm -hmm. trying to get my radio voice on. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, there's one. I 27. I 27. And I 25. I 25. Alrighty. And, and I'm sorry. Go ahead, Pamela. And 33. And 33. Awesome. Next ball chosen is I-16. I-16. We're going to pop another one up here. G-51. 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 Once you get bingo, double check. Make sure you hit that I have bingo card because we are having multiple winners for the games tonight. Patty, we just popped one up there. What is that? Oh, six, three. Oh, 63. And our next number is I-26. I-26. And up next is I-17. I-17. All righty. We should be close. Mm -hmm. E-49. G49 is the next one. B15. B15, my favorite number of all time. <laughs> B15. And it's G60. G60. Next up, N31. N31. We have a winner. Oh, whoa! So our winner is uh, from all the way from Fairhaven, Fairhaven, Massachusetts. It's Megan Ooh. Garcia. Wow! Megan all right, Garcia. Massachusetts. I love Massachusetts. Okay. That's great. You're going to win one of these prize packages, and we have your email address. We'll contact you for the delivery option. So that's awesome. All the way from wow. Fairhaven, Massachusetts. That's great. Wow. That's, awesome. Awesome. that's terrific. Yes. Terrific. Terrific. Uh, I do think we have a little time now. We want to, we want to go not to go too deeply into it, but to highlight again, the puppy mill dilemma. And we have the rescued puppy mill puppies. Uh, all, Pamela, they're all adopted now. Is that correct? That first step? They are. They are. All of them that's are adopted. Great. It's wonderful. And you have Lila, right? I do. I have Layla and Pixie. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, you I got a one eye. Oh, yeah, I know. He only got one eye. She, I she was overlooked, so I we kept her. I know, but she's got a good home now. And she sees with that one eye pretty well, I'm sure. She does, and she's got a better spirit than any of them. She's happy as a clam. Good. <laughs> uh, we want to show this video to, to, to our viewers. And uh, so you can see also that the ladies who helped to rescue them and brought them to Pam. So here's more on the Puppy Mill Puppies. Were, these dogs were all there at the puppy mills for nothing more but to breed. Just breed and breed and breed until they stop breeding anymore. This is Velvet. Oh, Velvet is a, a poodle that we got from the a puppy mill and she's very sweet, very calm. She's, she's the calm one of the two. <laughs> this is Leela, and Leela only has one eye. A very lovable dog. She's always got her tail wagging, and she loves life. It's actually quite overwhelming because when I think about what was going to happen to them with, without somebody coming and taking them, if the angels, I call them angels, wouldn't have went and, and grabbed them and asked me to take them, they wouldn't be here today. So it really means the world to have these dogs here. Uh, this is Elle. She's a little chihuahua, uh, around seven years old. Very, very loving, just loves to be sitting on laps. Uh, they never knew what grass was. They never knew what love was. So for them to, to uh, you know, to love us and, and accept us and let us hold them, that's really big for them because they've never had that in their whole life. This is Zoe. She's a little timid little girl, but um, Zoe's five years old. But she's coming out of it. She was really timid when we first got her, but she's starting to let people touch her and everything. When Great Pro Rescue took them on, you know, Pam knew that they were going to all have to have shots. They were all going to have to be spayed. Um, most of them need dentals because they've never had any type of dental work. This is Sugar. She's a Maltese. Um, she's the shyest of all of them. She uh, is finally starting to come out of her shell. This is Pepper. Pepper's a miniature poodle. And she is the most vocal of the group. This is Pixie. Uh, she's a Yorkie. She's found her voice. Um, uh, that's one thing with a lot of these dogs, they were never allowed to bark. Um, yeah, so uh, they were forced to learn not to bark. So uh, slowly, some of these are starting to learn that they can actually bark and not get in trouble. This is Willow. This is one of our Pomeranian mamas. The second we saw her, she was wagging her tail and everything. Usually it takes weeks for them to start wagging their tails. Kathy, Sherry, and, and Debbie, I just want to thank you all for, for getting these dogs and bringing them to Grateful Rescue. You saved their life. Wow. Those women are amazing. They are amazing. I would take all. Well, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay>. Yes. <laughs> it takes a village. Everybody, everybody. Yes. I, it's for those of us who love animals. It's so uh, pets, and these are com these are companion animals. These are they. They. I mean, you you give them life and love, and they give it back tenfold. Mm -hmm. I mean, and for them to trust humans again after what they've been through. Oh. When when she was telling us that, that they didn't, they were afraid to bark. And I do know that some of with the large, some of the larger dogs, they debark them. I don't mm -hmm. even want to go into how they do that, but they don't want them to bark. Mm -hmm. So, what they've been through, we can we can only imagine. I've seen some videos that just I can't unsee, and it's 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 really traumatic. So for them to love us again and to give us 
uh, you know, a chance. Some of them, they've never had, right, Pam? They've never had their feet on the ground. They've never seen any sunshine. That's correct. That's correct. And, and it is such a happy feeling to put them in grass and see them soak up the sunshine and run like a child. I mean, it is an amazing experience. Once they realize they're safe, they start they start to trust and they start to love. And it's it's really an amazing thing to watch the transformation. All those dogs you see in, in that video, whole different dogs than when they arrived on our doorstep. They they were just so frightened and and so unsure and so dirty and so matted and so sick. But um but I would say that was about three or four weeks later that they were wow. like a new dog. <laughs> At yeah. the age of six and seven, they're starting a life like a puppy would to enjoy the. I love that. And I think uh, a lot, there are a lot of people, um, you know, I, I think uh, the more that you get to talk about this and do this, then the more people, um, I think it'd be great if at some point there's some way to, uh, you know, lobby for new laws too and punishments so that animals aren't treated just like property, throw away property like that. But the, the neat thing that <laughs> Pamela about, is working on this. Yes. Yeah. That. As we speak, we're on that, aren't we, Patty? Hey, yeah. I, I know the governor. I mean, I played at his wedding a long time ago, so maybe I can pull some time. <laughs> There you go. There are a lot of people like us that, I mean, I sometimes think, oh my gosh, the messier the dog, the better. So all of these little mothers that come from the puppy mills, I just think the more people that know about them. They, yeah, I, don't, I think a lot of people yes. don't know. I don't just think just making sure people know. Before I started this show, I, I, I thought it was okay to buy puppy. How much is that puppy in the window? Me too. How much is that Me too. You know. And then I learn. I'm learning, so it's it's no shame to learn. It's no shame mm -hmm, right. to 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 educate. And and I right. won't. I, now, if you're educated about it, and then you still decide to support it, that's another story. But we I just don't think. I don't think a lot of people know. Yeah, we grew yeah. up with. My husband grew up with Karen Terriers, and I grew up with Snouchers. We've not since we've been married um, over 20 years. We've not had one full bred dog, and I have never felt so much joy. Uh, for just the way that dogs, you know, I mean, I know the puppy mill ones are, are like full bred dogs because that's what they're going for. But I just like the, the, the more problems a dog has, you know, call me. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's another thing you bring up, Jenny, is that, um, you know, they, they're all they were all purebreds. If you are looking for a purebred. Go to a responsible breeder. Well, but you can also check the shelters because yes. a lot of times these these purebreds will end up in shelters because right. someone didn't didn't know, didn't do the research, and didn't know what kind of right pet they were getting into, and so that poor thing ends up in a in a shelter just for being the breed that it is. Um, right now, and that is yeah. that. I just think um, she's she's kind of just nervous. She's definitely. Uh, you know, terrier, and it's like um, people don't. Know, and it's like they're. You know, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't think we have time to play another game, do we, Jason? Are you going to jump in? We, you know how girls are. We're chatting. We're, chatting. we're, we're getting too chatty. Do we need to play? Uh, up to, who wants to do one more game, real quick? <laughs> he says, "I'll do it." Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> I just noticed we're talking and talking. And the, donations, yeah. the donations better come in. No, so um, okay. we're, we've got game four set up now. Send your okay. donations, uh, all my people. Send your donations. This all righty. is donations. Here thank we you, go. Thank you. So I'll do the first number here. It's going to be I twenty one. I twenty one. And then Jenny. G fifty seven. G five seven. G five seven. E57. We're playing three cards at once. If you have bingo, hit the I have bingo button. Patty, what do we got here? Oh, N40. 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 N as in Nancy. <laughs> and your next number is I25. That's I25. Up next is N45. N four five. 
G56 is the next number. G56. Uh, KJ, Mr. Fulton Moraz says, hello, KJ. Oh, hi, Fulton. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> and Art Ballard, or I think it's a nose patty. Ah, hi, I know Art, Art too. Yeah. <laughs> we all know hi, Art. Art. <laughs> all right. So, Gina, we're going to pop another one here. I30, I30, I30. Perfect. Zero six five. Zero six five. Or that'd be O oh, six five. I'm sorry. O O O six five. <laughs> got my O and my zero mixed up. <laughs> B two. Tomato, tomato. Yep. <laughs> uh, B two. N thirty seven. N three seven. O66, O66 is the next one. Again, once you have bingo, make sure you hit the I have bingo button so that we know that you are a winner. Jenny, we just popped another one up there. B15, my favorite number is back. Again. <laughs> that what number loves you. B15. <laughs> and this is B8, B8. I23. I-23. All right. I-24. I-24. And then N-32. N-32. Once again, make sure you hit that bingo button in case we have multiple winners at the same time. G-47. G-47. G-47 Summit. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And G48, G48. B7, B7. Woo. So Jessica Carter wins. She's from Greencastle, Indiana. Jessica Carter from Greencastle, Hi, Indiana wins. Woo. Uh, Price packages again. We'll contact you via email to arrange delivery of the prizes. So that was good. We got a fourth game in, and that's a good thing. That's good. Good. Yes. good, good, good. I want to. I think everybody. We we've come so far. We have further to go. I I love all of you. I think we're on the right path, and I think education is the key. I, I really, yes. really do. And we're gonna we're gonna work on that. Not to uh, not to the, the point where. I know sometimes late at night, you know, when you're watching TV and you see the animals shivering, I'm like, I can't watch, turn away. Mm -hmm. No, but we, right. we want to educate without scaring. But mm -hmm. also, to be honest, it's, it's a fine line. And we're, we're working on that to, to be responsible and to educate with a smile and say, and here's, what, here's what it is. Yes. 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 And I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you more than words can tell. I cannot <laughs> believe that you take your time, seriously take your time to to help us with this. And Jason, this is a brilliant idea. Everybody has a blast playing this bingo. And and I and let's all applaud Jason right now. Yes. No, thank you. That's awesome. It means the world. It really does. I just can't thank you enough. We are so excited to see Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary when it's finally yeah. done. We're breaking yes. ground. We're getting there. Oh, it's it's, it's happening. It's happening. The, the <laughs> second biggest shelter in the country, and it's the biggest one in the Midwest. That's it's going to be huge, be and it's going to be done the right way, the right way. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. And I want to say, Jason, I know all the details that you did to put into this, so thank you so much. And I'm going to – well. I'm just happy to be part of this. We haven't played a live show since uh, I did two in February and then everything's been canceled. So it seems like my full-time job now is sitting on my butt in my <laughs> yeah. I my computer. But I mean, I also feel like I've connected with more people this way. Um, it's just been crazy. Like I never had a house gig before, but I could do this a lot. So <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> we'll get through it. We'll get through it. We'll get through yeah. it. I say we do this again soon. So yes, yeah. It's time to put on my jammies now. Exactly. <laughs> right. There you go. Thank you. 
favorite. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Well, wave goodbye, to everyone. Thanks for joining bye. us tonight. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you so you much. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Bye. See you later.